We are not making an action figure of a dog! The dog's name is Larry. And if I'm coming to Heels and Faces, he's coming with me. Zombie Sailors Toys presents CM Punk. Handcrafted in vintage 90s style. And now including, for the first time ever, Larry the Dog. Okay, okay, we'll include the dog. Larry. Larry, we'll include Larry. Pre-order now, only at ZombieSailor.com. And the spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! And you know what that means, it's time for all the toy news, action figure news of the week that interested me, that hopefully interests you in a barn burner of a week of toy news this week, full of surprises, and we'll dive into all of it here in a second, but of course, start off with a little bit of housekeeping here, Patreon, of course, the Patreon giveaway for the month of February will be the Batmobile, Batman, and Robin from McFarlane Batman 66 line. So check out the Patreon. Link in the description below. Appreciate all the Patreon members. Of course, you can also be a free member of the Patreon now, apparently. Uh, so sign up for that. But of course, you got to get in there to get a part of the giveaway. We did give away the January one this week. So everything going on over the old Patreon. Of course, your best way to support this channel, all the content it does bring, all kinds of stuff over there. Monthly Q&As, pizza reviews, dog stuff, giveaways, and early access to both YouTube channel videos. Head on over to Patreon, support the channel. There you go. And a little other cool housekeeping news. I've been talking about it. And of course, I'm going to plug it. People have said, hey, why do you plug in that book? Well, that's what you do when you have something you're releasing, be it music, be it a book, be it anything, you keep plugging it. And I'll keep plugging it for quite some time, I'm sure. But I did finally get the final review sample. Look at this. Look how thick this book is. The complete guide to the Jax Classic Superstars right there. The book in hand. It's a big book. It's a monster book. As you can see here, about 700 pages in here. It's thicker than a phone book these days. So they got the first proof here going through it, trying to cross some uh, I's and dot some T's. How about that? That's what we're trying to do. But uh, hopefully for sale very, very soon. Unfortunately, with this big of a book and printing options, it's not going to be as cheap as I would like it to be. Kind of is what it is. So trying to work through that right now. We'll see. But there'll be some sticker shock with this book, as you can imagine. And unfortunately, not a sticker shock in what I will make off this book. It'll be pennies. <laughs> It'll be great. But it's a labor of love at the end of the day. You guys know that. But much more to come on this book uh, very soon. But there is the author's copy through the door here. So very fun and very kind of cool to get this through the door. It really does feel complete now, as you can imagine there. So much more to come on the book. Like I said, a very, very thick book. More to come on that. But let's dive into the news. And we started off this video with a little promo package. Uh, big props to Zombie Sailor out there. Very cool of him to do that commercial with CM Punk. As we do know, two-week pre-order window going on right now. So if you want the Zombie Sailor toy retro figure of CM Punk and his dog Larry. Oh my gosh, and that Larry, he'll scale perfectly with Elites. So you can mix him in over there if you want to. But man, oh man, that's going to be possibly the biggest Zombie Sailor release of all time. Zombie just getting in there in that brief window between AEW and WWE, making that happen. Kudos to Zombie. Always be hustling out there. That's a, a perfect example, a life lesson. Never give up. Keep hustling. Keep making moves every single day. Constant learning, constant improvement. We say it on the channel all the time. 
zombie coming in hot there, and I have to imagine that'll be the biggest selling one of all time. I know a lot of people are buying extras to flip, as we know how these things go. You wait six months to a year, maybe longer if you're Johnny Gargano. You wait longer to get these in hand. Uh, we'll see what happens with CM Punk. Feels like he's farther ahead than we believe he may be, so would be very cool if that ships out uh, like in April or something like that. But we'll see what ends up happening there. But a major, major coup, and I'm here for a Larry the Dog. Get us Larry, get us CM Punk. Very, very cool for Zombie Sailor. So um, if you're interested in that, head over to Zombie Sailor. Get your pre-order in because this time next week it'll be coming to an end. And after that, you're stuck on the secondary market going forward. So the highs and the lows now as we talk about a little bit. Rush Collectibles. I know a lot of people down on Rush Collectibles. I've heard horror stories about people not getting their product for a long, long time. Obviously, Matt Cardona, his all broke. I had one of my four break, and that's it is what it is. It's the luck of the draw, I guess. Obviously, not very happy when my Larry Zabisco chase uh, just kind of crumbled to dust in the review. Check out it out on the channel. But my other three I unboxed, I didn't have problems with. But we did hear Rush Collectibles moving on to the Monsters line, getting away from the wrestling line. Well, you know, wrestling, it draws you back in. And that's what happened here as we do get Wildcat Chris Harris coming in hot. And Rush Collectibles did make some changes here. They went back to the drawing board on their figures. They showed, hey, here's the old Chris Harris. And bam, here's the new Chris Harris. So we got the yin and yangs of Chris Harris. Uh, Chris never looks so good in the new one here. But uh, I don't know. I think Rush Collectibles is a tough one here. I've said this old saying a million times. You lose a customer a loaf at a time, you get them back a slice at a time. And that's a perfect analogy for Rush Collectibles. They lost the whole kit and caboodle. They lost the whole loaf of bread. Now they got to work extra hard to get back each loaf. 24 loaves or 24 uh, slices in a loaf. It's going to take some time to get back to where you were. That's just a hard, hard lesson out there. Uh, but we'll see where Rush Collectibles goes. I don't know if there's going to be people taking the chance on these. We'll just have to sit uh, and wait, I guess, and see what happens. Speaking of a long wait, oh my gosh, how many years has it been? Well, we are finally getting the Sabu Uncensored kind of elite style figure. It has been years in the making. Now, it did start off as Chella. Epic Toys finished the journey. They finished the story, some may say. And I did get my shipping notice from Figure Collections. Figure Collections distributing it here in uh, North America, I guess. I should have that any day now, so we will unbox it on the channel probably next week sometime. But our long nightmare waiting for Sabu is finally over, and I don't know if they're going to make any more elite figures. I haven't heard any word on that. We got Dynamite Kid. We unboxed him on the channel, both versions. Now we got this one. I don't know. You guys tell me what's going to happen there, but uh, we'll see what how good the Sabu is. I'm very excited. I'm a big Sabu guy. It's going to be great to have him an elite style figure. I would love to see more. I just don't know. Is the juice worth the squeeze? Is it possible to get more? We'll have to lay in wait, but check out the review next week on the channel. Best way to do that is to subscribe to this YouTube channel. As I always say, and speaking of things that are shipping now, the Wembley AEW Shop Zone exclusive Jamie Hayter finally shipping, and actually shipping early, as it was originally supposed to be February, then they said April. Well, apparently people are getting their shipping notification. I didn't get a shipping notification because I was sleeping. I was sleeping and I missed the pre-order. Man, oh man, I'm stuck to that aftermarket trying to track down that Jamie Hayter. We'll see what happens with that, but a very popular one. I think a lot of people are going to want this figure, and uh, not a lot of people got a chance to get it because of time zones and things like that, and being a surprise drop and all of that uh, rigmarole that goes with that. So if you ordered your Jamie Hayter, you should have it fairly soon. Lucky you. So stay tuned for more on that. This week, we did hear from, I guess, Brian Pillman's family that he has signed a Legends deal. Makes sense with his son being over in the WWE, I guess, NXT currently. Uh, it makes sense something like that could be in the works there. So we should have more Brian Pillman figures, which brings us back to Zombie Sailor. He's got an elite-style Brian Pillman. He better get that thing rolling pretty good and pretty uh, soon here. We haven't heard a lot on that elite-style Zombie Sailor line. I have to imagine, though, like a lot of these, CM Punk inc included, this was signed before the WWE deal, so it won't be canceled. We'll still get it. Hopefully we get it sooner rather than later, so we'll stay tuned to that. But it sounds like we could have some new Brian Pillman figures uh, in the Legends line, the Elite line, all that kind of stuff. And there's still a lot of Pillmans they could do. Could see him in the Greatest Hits line with the Flying Brian Pillman with the updated articulation, things like that. That would be a very easy one for them to pump out pretty quick. 
We'll see what happens on that. And as of filming right now, the announcement has not been out, and I'll look to cut into this video maybe later today. Hopefully I get the chance to do that. But it sounds like Powertown announcing the TNA Series 1 of TNA Ultra figures. Should be very interested to see who is in the TNA line. We've also heard rumors that there's going to be more diamonds in the Ultra lines going forward, maybe one of each series. Uh, it sounds like Powertown really cooking with gas at this point here. As we do know, the Remco line, they've been revealing those every Friday. Fully expect them to reveal TNA figures probably every Friday for the next six weeks. But it's time for some pre-orders. Let's go, Powertown. We don't want to get on the old Ventura conspiracy I list. if they're watching your every move. Cell phones, internet, surveillance. Think about it. Hello! Here I am. Here we are. We are one with a future Kyle. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop the clock. As we did finally get the notice here Friday afternoon of the TNA Powertown Ultras Series 1. We got the reveal of the first series and we're starting it off hot with Moose, Eddie Edwards, Josh Alexander, and of course, Jordan Grace. So that is the first four. It looks like it's going to be a four-person set. No pictures, no nothing, just a reveal, a slick little video going on to announce those. But we weren't done with more wrestling news on a Friday. What are these people doing? Announce the things Friday. Don't they know I'm doing the toy news of the week? Do all the news on Thursday so I can be prepared on Friday. But we did see Hassel Toys, the old grapplers and gimmicks line. We did see a surprise drop on Friday in stock right now. Extremely limited edition. We did see King Mabel, so we get old Nelson Frazier in his King gear, King Mabel coming in hot, and then we did get a two-pack of Men on the Mission, now in gold. So if you missed out or were hoping to get these characters, you missed out on the first batch, you got another chance right here. Pre-order shipping now, so there's no pre-order. The order is the pre-order. You're ready to go, it's going to ship right to you. So if you're into those two guys, uh, pick them up right now. Head over to Grapplers and Gimmicks, pick them up. Got that going on. And then a late one. A late one on a Friday. Cliff Burton, Super 7 Ultimate Series 2. Guess that what we'll call it, Series 2. A very psychedelic one here. We do got a Soft Goods Metallica shirt. Bass guitar with an effect piece on the bass guitar. Looking extra wild there. Of course, all the heads and hands, usual stuff we're used to with Super 7 will be a part of that. But we also did see he does have those two rings flying through there. I did hear... Those will be actually hands. So this is almost like a psychedelic Cliff Burton figure in some ways. Love the color scheme they got going on there. Absolutely wild. And I'm hearing the packaging is going to be totally next level. So that will be coming out as well. But a late drop from Super 7 on a Friday. So there it is. A little quick stop the clock update. So there you have it. A very varied wrestling uh, heavy news section at the top half here but now we got to turn into some other things we got to turn our attention to the planet of the mimes and from the planet of the mimes the copper kid oh my gosh copper kid coming to the super 7 ultimate line probably the most despicable character the most annoying character in all of 80s cartoon and a voice of hot garbage i don't know what's up with his voice but we're finally getting the copper kid and his space racer the fastest racer in the whole galaxy i guess here but the copper kid needed fill for the silver hawks collection i look at my silver hawks stack over there one of these days we'll unbox those on kyle peterson 2.0 but man the copper kids come there you had to have him but man he's 205 dollars with his space racer they should change his name from the Copper Kid to the Gold Kid, as that's an expensive price point. Very uh, similar to Mandora and her Electro Charger, as I was called, Electro Charger. Uh, that two pack, but that was like 160 bucks. So definitely a price increase. Copper Kid, just a little guy, as we do know, and a favorite of many out there is, of course, the Copper Kid. Really, not really though. It's it's fun to say that, but man, talking about an annoying character. But man, 205 bucks. So if you want it, you have to buy both of them, or you can can buy them separately. $55 for the Copper Kid on his own if that's the way you want to go. That's kind of how I'm leaning right now. Do I need that Space Racer? I'm not exactly sure. But you know what Loverboy once said? checks out they actually wrote that song about the copper kid back in the 80s wild time shout out to lover boy out there shout out to the copper kid from the planet of the mimes oh my gosh wild times wild wild times and we continue on now we turn our attention to good friend of the channel 
frequent visitor to the couch and kind of really a freeloader after all these uh, last few weeks here. A lot of Todd McFarlane talk on Kyle Peterson 2.0, a lot of commentary from the couch from Todd, and a lot of toe wiggling as well. He loves to wiggle his toes, he loves that toe articulation. But Todd McFarlane coming in hot this week as we finally got some images and official solicitations for his Page Punchers line. We've seen them before from uh, the McFarland uh, DC Multiverse ones, things like that. Well, now we got Transformers and we got G.I. Joe. Not something I'm going to jump on board. You do get comic books with these. You get a stand for the comic book. You get two little figures. I'm just not sure exactly who is after these. Maybe it's good for little kids out there. Not exactly sure. It's a lot of real estate to display with the stand and the comic book. It is what it is, and it's all about diversification of your portfolio. Todd not messing around. He's on the couch. He's saving a lot of money so he can put money into things like this. So good for you, Todd. Always working hard out there. But we weren't done with Todd McFarlane. It was exclusive week with Todd McFarlane and McFarlane Toys. GameStop, Batman, Frostbite Edition. Nobody likes Frostbite. Unbelievable. Frostbite, it's a dangerous thing. A dangerous thing. Uh, but it's the Frostbite Edition Batman GameStop exclusive. 7000 and change being made of this one. I'm a sucker. At first I was like, I don't need this. And then he pulled it out of the package. And whenever Todd whips it out, I'm always like, oh, I'm interested. I'm interested when he whips that thing out. But he whipped out his Frostbite translucent Batman. He whipped it out for everybody to see there. Uh, it was a wild time, let me tell you. But a Frostbite translucent, man, I love a translucent. I love a glow-in-the-dark plastic. I'm going to pick this one up for my GameStop. It is up for order right now. Now, and speaking of exclusives, Amazon coming in hot. We got a tease on Thursday, then Friday morning. It is up for pre-order. It's a two-pack, and we got a deluxe one in there in Kilowog and the Green Lantern two-pack. Man, I love a big figure, especially a big pig-type man figure. And I love a good lantern, so the hit's being played right there at the table, or right here at the table, right there on my screen, on my Amazon pre-order screen, I guess. Pre-ordered that boy. That is up on Amazon right now. Building out those lanterns, building out those lanterns, and we weren't done. Then we took a tri trip to Wisconsin. Oh, beautiful this time of year. I was just up there with the mayor of Oshkosh, uh, Wisconsin. Shout out to my friend Swoggle up there. Uh, the Big Bad Toy Store came in with a McFarlane exclusive. A little bit of a challenging one, though. It is like a black and white blood edition Mandarin Spawn. Now, that Mandarin Spawn didn't set anything on fire. It was released a couple years ago. A couple different editions. Deep, deep clearance. I jumped in on some deep clearance on that one for like $3, something like that. Uh, but they are getting a Big Bad Toy Store exclusive. So if you're into that, hit the link in the description below. Support the channel. Hit up old Big Bad Toy Store. So an interesting right there for Todd McFarlane this week. A little bit quieter, but he's just talking exclusives this week. That's all he's dealing with. He's talking exclusives. But now, one that's been very kind of dormant and feels like it's been kind of on the back burner this year. I don't know if people are passing over Marvel Legends from Hasbro. Has G.I. Joe eclipsed all the Hasbro love? But we did get a Marvel Legends solicitation and pre-order. Did go up for pre-order on Hasbro Pulse. It is a Spider-Man the Animated Series 2-pack of Daredevil and Hydro Man. And once again, we're talking translucent, so I'm into a translucent figure with Hydro Man. And then Daredevil's always really good to have. It does have the shading, of course, from the animated series. I was thinking this line was kind of dormant, but it's back with a vengeance here with this 2-pack. But Legends team been fair Fairly quiet uh, really this year of course we got a few things coming but it has been a little quieter than normal it feels like I don't know maybe that's just me are they dialing back some of the legends I don't know it's gonna be an interesting year for Marvel Legends in 2024 I do feel but if you need that two-pack head over to Hasbro Pulse and we're not done another limited edition drop and of course I missed it uh, it did go up at noon, was it Tuesday? And it was Mondo Werewolf by Night, a Blood Moon edition. So it was a repainted edition. They released the first one, like limited to 300. I think this was 200, give or take something, but very limited quantities on this. I missed out on the last one because I was in a meeting. Missed out on this one because I was in a meeting, but thankful. Good friend of the channel, good friend up there in Michigan, old Jeff George, pulled the trigger. He said, you know what, I'm going to order two of these. I'll order one for Kyle if he wants it. I'll give it to him. If not, he knows he could sell that. So I got to give a special shout out to Jeff George for picking that up for me. It uh, looks like we'll have this in my collection here. 
So a very cool one here. I love a good werewolf. You guys do know that. I'm all about the werewolf, especially that Fox show werewolf. Have you seen it yet? I always recommend it. You get that pentagram, it starts bleeding, and oh my gosh, you're off to the races there. It's like the Incredible Hulk, but about werewolves. Strongly recommend you watch that show if you've never seen it. So check that out if you missed it. And just a couple extra things this week. NECA Ben Cooper collection. We talked about this a while back. Little kids in those classic 70s, 80s costumes. If you were a kid of the 80s, you'd definitely seen those out trick-or-treating. I never Never owned one. I was all in on Freddy Krueger. I got that Freddy Krueger stuff right over here. I just found it the other day. Uh, but the Ben Cooper Kids Collection, you can get that. I think NECA said low quantities, but I knew other retailers do have this one. So supposedly shipping in May. Should be able to find it out there if you are looking for it. So I wanted to give that a little plug. And then Super 7 coming in extra hot this week, making an official announcement of Thin Lizzy reaction figures. And I'm a big Thin Lizzy guy. I'm just realizing I have Phil from Thin Lizzy on my shirt here. What great coincidence. And of course, oh, one of the all-timers, old Lemmy right there as well. But uh, Thin Lizzy reaction figures. Now, when they say Thin Lizzy reaction figures, it's pretty much Phil Linet reaction figures. I don't think we're getting Brian Downey. I don't think we're getting any of those guys um, as a reaction figure. I just don't see that happening. I think we'll get Phil, probably a different looks. So we know how the reaction goes. It'll be really, really interesting to see how well that sells because I love Thin Lizzy. There's a lot that love the new wave of traditional heavy metal, even new wave of British heavy metal, classic rock. People love Thin Lizzy. However, in America, North America, it's uh, the boys are back in town, maybe jailbreak, and that's pretty much where it's cut off with Thin Lizzy. That's all you're ever going to hear on the radio. That's all people really know. But man, one of the best catalogs ever. Thin Lizzy, mandatory listening if you're a rock fan. Uh, I just don't know how well these reactions are going to resonate out there at store level. Uh, I'm not sure if anybody even knows the, the legend of Phil uh, and Thin Lizzy. I don't know if people really know that. Now, they will sell these overseas where Thin... Uh, Thin Lizzy. I mean, Phil's got statues dedicated to him in uh, Ireland and stuff like that. So I don't know. We'll see what ends up happening there, but I'm here for it. We'd love to see a Phil Ultimate. Of course, we got Cliff Burton. We've got uh, Lemmy. We're put, putting out all the bass players from Super 7. Phil, another great bass player. Let's get him made as well. We'd love to see an Ultimate. Not sure that'll ever be in the cards, but man, day one buyer if that ever did happen. And I guess that's a perfect segue into the Album of the Week. All right, it's time for Album of the Week, and I guess I'm cheating a little bit with the Album of the Week, but you know what they say, if you're not cheating, you're not trying, and it's only cheating if you get caught, is what Bobby Heenan said once a long time ago. But we're going to talk about a little cheating here for Album of the Week. It is Blue Oyster Cult, just like Thin Lizzy, one of those bands. Everybody knows Godzilla, Don't Fear the Reaper. But man, oh man, there's so many great songs from Blue Oyster Cult that people have just forgotten about, moved on from, or didn't even know anything about. But Blue Oyster Cult this week announced their final album ever. 50-year career. They're calling it quits to recording. They're still going to play those corporate gigs. Uh, one time I was at a meeting and uh, Blue Oyster Cult, I just missed them in the elevator. Everybody was like, did you see Blue Oyster Cult was just in the elevator? I'm like, what? What are they doing in this hotel? Uh, but they were playing a corporate gig for some uh, company and I just missed them in the hotel. I was like, how do I get into this? How do I see all this stuff? Uh, but good old Buck Dharma and Eric Bloom and uh, the rest of the band out there. And some members have came, but the top two, Eric and of course, um, um, Buck Dharma are still around but Ghost Story is going to be their final album and they're pulling out some hits, some lost tracks some new tracks as well their last album was Album of the Week as well a very strong album, nobody probably listened to it of course, that's kind of how it goes this day with most of music, especially legacy acts like this, but man the new Blue Oyster Cult, if they released this and they said it was Ghost, people would say oh my gosh this is the greatest thing since sliced bread this is the greatest thing ever, a lot of people love Ghost, Ghost has a very similar style to Blue Oyster Cult back in the day. And Blue Oyster Cult rocked it out as well. So one of the most underrated bands of all time. Everybody knows Don't Fear the Reaper. Everybody knows Godzilla. But there's so many other great albums there. So many great live albums. And a great live band too. So Gotta give Blue Oyster Cult some props, no doubt about it. Album of the Week. Haven't heard it yet. They did release the first single. Did listen to that. It was alright. It wasn't the greatest thing, but it was still way better than it needs to be with Blue Oyster Cult all these years later. So check out Blue Oyster Cult. That's going to be the Album of the Week. And that is it. That is the toy news this week. Just snappy. Getting right through that toy news. A lot going on in the toy news world. A lot going on in the library world as well. A lot going on in the book world here. Very heavy. You can knock somebody over the head with this. I mean, it, it's a dangerous book. It's one of the most dangerous books uh, we've ever seen. Paper cuts. There's so many opportunities for paper cuts. It's unbelievable here. Have I just sold this book? Does everybody want a copy with these chance of 700 paper cuts on here? 
I think I did. I think I did. But you guys let me know your thoughts on the toy news this week. Anything you're interested in, anything you're hopeful for, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Of course, you made it this far. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Turn on the old notification bell as we got videos every single day. And then some. Yes, and then some. We've got even more content for you on Patreon, including early access to everything. You name it, it's all over there. Plus this month's giveaway. Check out the Patreon. Check out ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. Don't forget social media. Sir Paul 64 on the X. The underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on threads. And on Instagram. And you know what I'm doing. Rocking and rolling. Strutting and strolling. My way into another weekend. Mm -hmm.